Um, the questions about multiple identification procedures, or MIPs, are very understandable in today's world and your line of work. It's very common for eyewitnesses to be questioned multiple times regarding what they saw and can or cannot identify. The questions you have about whether MIPs improve accuracy and recall and if witnesses are more likely to remember past events if they are asked multiple times have been researched by psychologists with the same questions as you. This is important due to the fact that eyewitness testimonies are a major source of, to wrongful convictions. In the first article we all read as a group, the participants were, were split up into two groups. Both groups were shown a 30 second video of a woman being robbed at a, an ATM. The first group had to identify the perpetrator from a lineup. 30 minutes later, and the second group had to identify the perpetrator two weeks later. The group that identified the perpetrator from a lineup 30 minutes later were more likely to correctly identify the perpetrator rather than the group that had to identify the perpetrator two weeks later. This proves that time between an incident and identification procedures affect accurate identifications. However, both groups still had misidentifications and were not accurate in identifying the perpetrators. In this experiment, a group of adults are asked to look at one photo of a suspect. They are brought back days later and asked to look at a lineup of people and identify the correct suspect they saw the first time around. This lineup did not consist of the suspect unknowingly to the group. Days later, the group was asked to look at three different lineups and asked to pick the correct suspect. At this point, the group has been exposed to different faces. The correct suspect was only present in one of the lineups they were asked to view. When the group viewed the lineup, which consisted of the suspect, they identified the correct suspect. When the group viewed the lineup that did not consist of the correct suspect, they still identified someone as the suspect. This experiment showed that when exposing witnesses to multiple people in different lineups, the accuracy of them picking the correct suspect decreases. Another finding that researchers found in the experiment, the effect of multiple lineups on face identification accuracy, is that eyewitnesses' recognition memory plays an important role in the identification procedure. Factors like showing a distractor face or an innocent suspect in two lineups can decrease the identification rate. Experiments, experimenters in this experiment were presented with pictures. A week later, they were assigned to control and experimental groups. The control group's pictures were target absent, and the experimenter's target absent photo was replaced with a distractor face. Two days later, in a test phase, participants from control and experimental groups were assigned three test lineups. One had a distractor face, one a target face, and one had a distractor face with more people in the lineup. Results show that the accurate identification was greater in the phase where the distractor face was absent. False alarm rate was greater when the target was missing. These results show that participants were confusing the target and distractor face. They were choosing the most familiar face instead of identifying the perpetrator. This proves Mandler's theory in which he says identification is a slower process that involves remembering contextual information about where the stimulus was seen before. In another article, they performed an experiment where witnesses were given a photo lineup of suspects and they had to choose which person they thought were behind the crime. They found out that people are more likely to choose a suspect if they have seen them in a previous lineup or if one of the suspects resembles a celebrity or authority figure. Witnesses might not always pick the perpetrator, but instead pick someone that looks like them or a familiar face. Misidentification happens so often because people feel they must attempt an identification even if the guilty party is not there. When confronted with the actual perpetrator in a show up, not one person correctly identified him. When asked to choose the actual perpetrator from a lineup, 32% of people correctly identified him. In conclusion, studies support the idea that even though people get the perpetrator right and show up in lineups, there is a higher chance of misidentification. Research shows and supports eyewitness testimonies are more likely to turn up wrong than right because people feel the need to pick someone that they recognize and people naturally make errors.